Yo, 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 what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. All right, so Deathloop is now available on Game Pass on PC, and I'm expecting a lot of people to be playing and downloading this game, which is why I am here making this best settings video. So let's just uh, jump straight right into it, right? All right. For the screen resolution, obviously, you want to match your current screen. Mine is a 1080 display, so 1080. Display mode, full screen, unless you hate tabbing out um, and you hate it when it takes a lot of time, then obviously go with, with borderless full screen. Uh, other than that, if you really want to maximize performance and just you want everything to run as smooth as possible, then full screen is the best. Gamma will really depend on your display. Like I said, um, 17 is the default, which is perfect for me. So I'm going to keep it as is. Brightness, same thing. If it's too bright, bring it down. If it's uh, not bright enough, then bring it up. Field of view is uh, by default set at 80. Um, so, you know, if, if you don't like it, then bump it up. But just note that it will affect your performance as it says here in the warning. So I wouldn't bump it too high. 90 is a nice sweet spot uh, for like single player games. It's not too um, crazy and it's uh, also just not too zoomed in. So it's really nice and immersive at 90. Nvidia Reflex, this will obviously depend if you have a Nvidia graphics card. I would generally speaking um, always recommend on plus boost in every game if uh, possible. Low latency on VSync. Uh, I would turn this on. Usually, I wouldn't turn this on, like in most games, but this uh, game, Deathloop, really requires you to turn it on just because you might experience um, some screen tearing or some stutters. So, I really just turn it on and it's gonna lock your frame rate, but it's at least gonna give you like some smoother and uh, much better experience. Upscaling, um, obviously, this will depend its personal preferences, but since this is my video, this is my recommendation. I would recommend using the AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution 1.1, uh, 1.0, sorry. And uh, just go for the adaptive resolution. I know it's not going to always look good in certain situations. It might drop in resolution, but it's trust me, it's for the best um, just because uh, you don't want it to be locked. You really want it to like adapt to certain situations but at least it's always going to keep like a nice um frame rate nice solid frame rate so that it doesn't dip too down um and instead of like always being high and then it just suddenly goes down and it's just really bad fsr sharpening amount personal preferences uh they would always put it at 10 i put it at 5 so it's nice and balanced uh adaptive resolution i just like it to lock it with vsync so vsync based 164 since my display is technically a 165 hertz display. Um, adaptive resolution mode, I set it at performance. Of course, you can always change it to balance or quality. It really depends on you, but performance, just because I am more of a uh, performance FPS type of guy, I couldn't care less if the game looks weird or if it looks um, like not good, uh, graphically speaking. So yeah. Um, and as we go to the advanced tab, texture details, high, model, high, shadow details, medium. Um, honestly, this is one where you could set it at low or even very high. It wouldn't really make that much of a difference, but medium just because uh, generally speaking, the way that it looks doesn't really affect my gameplay. So shadows aren't really that important. Water and terrain, though. They do need to be high just because when you set them lower, it just makes the game look weird. I don't know why. Same thing for decal uh, details. You really need uh, like that, you know, those details on like some surfaces and stuff like that. Uh, fog detail, high. Unless you're using NVIDIA DLSS, then it is recommended to use it at Ultra, but I'm not using NVIDIA DLSS, so high. I mean, occlusion. Here, I would either recommend you using NVIDIA HBAO Plus or NVIDIA Fidelity, wait, what am I saying? Fidelity FX CACAO Performance. Sun Shadow is simple. Um, I wouldn't recommend Ray Trace Performance 
um, this game is just not made for that in my opinion. So yeah, same thing for here. Don't go for ray trace. Just go for simple. TXAA sharpness. Max is going to be 20. So I'm just going to set it at 10. Nice balance right there. Not too sharp, not too blurry. Uh, motion blur. This will obviously depend on you. If you experience motion sickness, then turn it off. I like it low just to give it that a little bit of a more immersive experience. Bloom, um, you don't really need this. Same thing for lens flare and light shafts. Uh, they won't really affect your um, performance that much. So, you know, really leave it on if you want or not. Depth of field, this is just a no no. It's not really necessary. We're not playing a full on immersive, like, um, and like crazy game. So, no, you don't really need depth of field. So, yeah, this is how it looks like. As you guys can see, I am um, at the library at the beginning of like the game. So I'm going to jump. So now we're going to go through a little bit more of like, you know, around, obviously some things are going to be rendering. Some things are going to be processing while or as we go, but this is how it looks like in these settings. It's really same morning, same solid radio show. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 